Hello, my name is Dr. Dean Kent. I am a practicing holistic dentist at Partners in Dental Health in the Hampton Roads area. So many, of my, so many of my patients have asked me about how they can remove the heavy metals, particularly mercury, from their bodies. I have interviewed an expert in this field, Dr. Jason Jones, to explain this procedure. Hi, this is Dr. Jason Jones of Elizabeth City, North Carolina, and today we're going to be talking about uh, chelation and chelation therapy. Um, we're going to go through several questions, but I want to give you a little bit about um, our practice and what we do and why chelation is important. Um, uh, as, a, uh, as a chiropractor, um, we're focused on primarily the brain and the nervous system and how that helps with the function of the body. However, uh, a number of years ago, uh, I actually started to experience uh, a variety of different uh, health ailments and come to find out that I actually had uh, mercury toxicity. So I began to research and study and, um, uh, and learn as much as I could about chelation, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, and we actually do that um, and uh, coach people and teach people how to do chelation um, uh, for themselves. So the first question is, what is chelation? Uh, chelation just simply means to bind. Um, and uh, there's lots of agents that you could use uh, to do uh, chelation. We're going to go over the more, uh, more popular ones today. Uh, but ultimately, what we're going to talk about is how to bind up the heavy metals that are in our system and in our body and to get rid of them. And another common question is, well, what ailments can heavy metal toxicity cause? And oftentimes, heavy metal toxicity can cause a lot of different health ailments, but it also can aggravate um, existing ones as well. Very common ones are things like chronic pain in the muscles, the tendons, things like fibromyalgia. Uh, chronic fatigue is another one. Uh, it can aggravate food sensitivities. People can have uh, mental emotional issues like depression, anxiety. Um, also, you could see things like brain fog would be another one. Uh, chronic fatigue, uh, which is part of, part of one of the things that uh, it affected me. Uh, you could even see dizziness. Um, you can see uh, nervous system issues as far as burning in the extremities um, and a whole host of, uh, of other problems as well. Uh, so another big question is why is it so important? Why is it necessary um, to chelate? Well, uh, it's important because it tends to, the heavy metals tend to aggravate and interfere with many of the body systems like the nervous system, like the hormonal system. Uh, those heavy metals can also uh, bind uh, to what we call receptor sites in, um, in your uh, organs, tissues, and cells and block the function of, of hormones and other things like neurotransmitters. So it really can wreak havoc on your system. So that's why it's so important to, to get them out of your system. Um, another question is, what are some of the common methods of chelation? Well, as far as chelation goes, you've got two basic methods. You're going to have either injectable chelation or you're going to do it orally. Um, me, personally, I prefer the oral uh, chelation, and the reason for that is, is that injectable chelation tends to drive up the amount of chelators um, very rapidly, whereas uh, what we've seen over time is when you take an oral chelator and you take it consistently, and usually it's about every four hours, it keeps it, it, keeps it level in the bloodstream um, and actually produces a much better uh, long-lasting result. Uh, we tend to use things like DMSA, alpha lipoic acid, and there are other things that you can use to enhance that um, where you would absorb the toxins in, in, your, in your gut. Uh, things, uh, different types of fibers would work very well and things like charcoal uh, would work quite well as uh, also. Um, how, does, how do you become toxic you know, from something like mercury? Well, um, fish, uh, certainly um, the, uh, the bigger, larger, more uh, predator type fish tend to have a lot of, uh, a lot of mercury in them. Uh, you can get it from your foods. Um, dental fillings is a big one, especially the, the silver, what they call the silver filling or the amalgams. They're typically about 50% mercury. Um, another one is uh, coal burning. I mean, we burn a lot of coal in the United States, and those fumes tend to get out there. And they've even seen research where just in the dust in your home, um, there's also mercury in that as well. So uh, another question would be, should you get tested um, for heavy metal toxicity? And I would say definitely, and the reason being is it's so very inexpensive to have it done because uh, you could either have a hair test, a urine test, or a blood test Blood tests are not that great unless it's an acute, um, uh, acute exposure. 
hair tests um, are actually quite good, uh, but it, uh, one of the things that has to happen for the hair test is um, the person who is reading it really has to know all the different things on the test um, to give you a really accurate um, estimate because you could have maybe low mercury or low lead but you're just not excreting it well because maybe you're deficient in some sort of vitamin or mineral or something. Personally, um, in our practice, or professionally in our practice, um, I like the urine challenge. It's a provocative six-hour urine challenge. You could do a 24-hour one. That's also okay. Um, I, like the, I like the urine challenge because it tends to, uh, to give uh, maybe a more accurate uh, result. Uh, but the hair also is a good one. Um, how long does it take to get the heavy metals out of your body? Well, typically to get it out of the body, and when I say the body, I'm talking about from here down, um, not talking about the brain. So just in the body, probably six months to 18 months to clear the body. Um, and it really just depends on your exposure. Now to get the mercury out of the brain, because once it gets in there, it's locked in pretty tight, uh, can take up to four years. Um, and that would be from the time you start all the way up um, to four years. But that would be in an, in an extreme case. Um, are there any side effects to things like mercury chelation? Well, side effects, um, I wouldn't say side effects, but what I would say is you could have some normal detox reactions, things like you would feel tired. Maybe you would have some GI irritation, maybe uh, a little discomfort in the stomach, maybe some diarrhea uh, could, could certainly happen. Maybe you could even have a headache. Uh, but when it's done properly, there are also other ways to, to minimize uh, those negative effects that you might feel from it. And really, the last question uh, that is extremely common is, will this improve your health? Well, the way I look at it is pretty simple, uh, since uh, heavy metals have such a negative effect on your health and it can really knock, uh, knock you for a loop like it did me, that when you get rid of those things, um, and you do it right and you do it well, it can have a profound effect um, on your overall well-being. I know I was extremely surprised at the difference that it made uh, in my life. And again, this is Dr. Jason Jones. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and um, enjoy the rest of the website.